This is a monumental moment in the history of SAG-AFTRA, and I have never been more proud to be a member of SAG-AFTRA than I have been these last three weeks. To the AMPTP, we love making movies and TV shows for you, and we want to get back to work. We will do so when you give us what's fair and you treat us with the respect that we deserve for making you billions of dollars. Yeah. I'm sure we all saw the document the AMPTP released on Friday where they added notes to all of the proposals they rejected. But I wanted to point out a couple of their responses that I found particularly disturbing. First, regarding wage increases. They said that the last time they gave us such a historic wage increase of 5% was in 1988. So they basically just told the entire world that the last time they gave us a wage increase as good as the one they're offering us this year was 35 years ago. Uh, Meanwhile, inflation was at 8% last year. Second, in regard to us asking for meal penalties to be increased. Since they have not been increased since 1961, the AMPTP said, the figures have not been raised in past negotiations because the union chose to prioritize other proposals. It's been 60 years. A gallon of milk cost 49 cents 60 years ago, and we're still making the same amount in meal penalties? Are they saying that unless we specifically ask for something or we give up something else in return, they're not going to consider giving it to us? Well, guess what, AMPTP? We're asking now. The industry has changed, the business model has changed, and it's time that our contracts change with it. And this time, we are prioritizing all of our proposals. I'm gonna try, try to stay calm during this last bit. Nah, go for it. Third and last, I need to say something about the most insulting thing I read in the AMPTP's response to our proposals. The AMPTP is opposed to us sharing the rewards of a successful show because we don't bear any of the risk. Excuse me? Hello. <laughs> we don't bear any of the risk? <laughs> Tell that to my friend John, who lost his life working on one of your TV shows. John. Tell that. John. Tell that to any of us who have literally broken bones and bled for you. Don't you dare try to say that we don't bear any of the risk. The AMPTP is crying poverty. Uh. Yet somehow, 55 independent productions as of last night have agreed to every single one of our proposals by signing the interim agreement. Yeah. Our demands must not be so unrealistic after all. And you know what? The AMPTP would have been better off making a deal three weeks ago because now they have the entire world watching them. I have friends and family in Europe sending me news articles about the strike, asking me questions, showing their support. We are being heard around the world. Yeah! People are on yeah. our side. This is our time. Be loud, share your stories, let people know what we are fighting for and why. The 1960 and 1980 strikes led to us getting a pension and health plan and residuals. The 2023 strike will again lead to colossal changes in our contracts. Yeah. Changes we deserve for making these companies a fortune. I want to leave you all with this Helen Keller quote. Alone, we can do so little. Together, we can do so much. This is why there are unions, and this is why we are on strike. Thank you.